Valentine's Day is less than two weeks away, and Open Table has created a list of the most romantic mm. restaurants in the world. They analyzed millions of rest reviews of restaurants that diners say deliver on romance to create the list, and here are the top five. At number five is the Old Pink House restaurant in Savannah, right here in Georgia. Wow. So we got to make a trek over there. That's number fancy. four is Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, three is Old Ebbett Grill in Washington, D.C., and runner-up is Hell's Kitchen, also in Las Vegas. And number one is Mama's Fish House in Maui, uh, which I've, I've actually been to, and I, it is delicious. Yeah. I didn't know it was romantic, though. <laughs> yeah. I went with my family, yeah. so I missed that. I've not been to any of those. I can't afford <laughs> any of those. I've walked past Hell's Kitchen on the way to the penny slot machines at Caesars, you know, but I couldn't stop for a $30 Caesar salad. I got to say, the fact that a few are in Vegas, I don't trust that list. Yeah. Most romantic no. is in Vegas? Yes. Mm. That, I don't know. I've been to the old pink house oh, in Savannah, really? and I will say I think that was romantic. It was a historical old house. Wow. Um, you know, you got the Spanish moss hanging on the streets as you walk up, um, and I was with my fiancé, so we were like, okay, this is a cute date. I'll, I'll agree with that on the list. Yeah, but the Eiffel Tower at Las Vegas, I'm not sure about that either. Yeah. Because I'm just going to go to the Eiffel I Tower in Paris. Want. Now that's romantic. That's probably yes. romantic. They have a nice buffet there at the Paris uh, Hotel in Vegas, right underneath the Eiffel Tower. I've been to that, but not that's inside not very the restaurant. Romantic. Yeah. No, it's not, but it was no. good. <laughs> <laughs> good food is good all food. we care about. More than romance. <laughs> well, if you check at your Valentine's Day dinner, gives your gives you a bit of a shock. You can blame mm -hmm. that on that romantic bottle of wine. Always gets you. The travel database Compare My Jet found the most and least expensive places to buy wine in the world. The U.S. is the fourth priciest country, mm. aver averaging more than $15 a bottle. And if you're looking to surprise your better half with a plane ticket on Valentine's Day, what a great gift. Going to be expensive. <laughs> you may want to book a flight to Portugal. Oh, okay. That country has the cheapest wine in the world, averaging about $4 a bottle. Hmm. Okay, well, you save on wine, but you're going to have to yeah, spend Yeah, you still got to fly there. You're going to have to sell your <laughs> kidney you can, to get to Portugal. You can get a good $4 bottle of wine here in the U.S. at Aldi. Let yeah. me just tell Portugal you, I bought Jones. some yesterday. Nope. Yes, nope. you can. I'll, bring, I'll buy nope. you some today. <laughs> We're going to do a nope. wine challenge tomorrow, and I'll let you test. You won't know the difference between the $4 Aldi I and will. the $80. <laughs> I will. I mm will. -hmm. I will. All right. <laughs> okay, well, I'd like to see this. So I'll no matter what. The, but please bring it. I insist. <laughs> You'll drink it anyway. I insist, yes. <laughs> One must try just uh. to rule it out. All right, well, we have uh, pizza where the crust is filled with cheese, and, uh, and we have pizza with five different types of cheese. Mm. And now Papa John's is offering an upside-down take on pizza. Or is it both sides up? I don't know. The pizza chain's newest creation, the crispy parm, has cheese on the top and the bottom of the pizza. Ooh. It's baked underneath with underneath the thin yeah. crust, and it's kind of like an inside-out cheese sandwich. The crispy parm pizza is available starting today for $12.99. Can you bring that? I will try. That's also known as a keto pizza. That's how you make that. But literally, still bread is a keto on pizza. It, oh, is it bread? I didn't think there was bread. I thought yeah, it was cheese it's on the cheese bottom. Cheese under the bread. Oh, well then, no. So that's keto just and keto not thing. keto. Because that's like at home when I make keto pizza. That's what you do. You you melt the cheese as the crust, and then you put the stuff on it, and then you bake it again, and that's how you make the Sounds keto. Sounds good. Pizza. It is. It's great. The more cheese, that's what the I better. Yes, we were going I know. For. I was like, sign <laughs> me up. Pile the cheese on and mm. underneath, and sprinkle it, and throw it in the sky, and I will. I will You'll eat it. It's a little messy though, like on your fingers. Gets a little greasy. Yeah. That, we were talking this morning about the best sandwich ever made has been discontinued. It's called the, the chicken. Do you remember that double, what was it called? The double stack chicken where it's chicken and chicken and the stuff in the middle? Oh, in the, the chicken's the bread? Yeah, the chicken was the bread. It was fantastic. Oh, I tried that. Oh, it was a little, a few, oh. it was fantastic. Mine's These this. segments always make me so hungry. I, I know. know. And it's only 7.45 East uh, Coast. Can we get a pizza delivery uh, now? Is anybody open? Maybe. <laughs> How about some birthday cake? Sure. Yeah, let's see whose birthday it is today. Oh, a lot of people today. Wow, Harry Styles, wow. Okay. Oh, Lauren Conrad. I was a big fan of The Hills back Julia in the day. Julia Garner, love her. Fantastic actress. Michael C. Hall, a.k.a. Dexter. Happy birthday. Holly Shore. Wow. Ronda Rousey. There we go. Yeah, it's a good list. Happy birthday yeah. to them all on the first day of February. We'll be right back.